Greetings, this is Antonio C. Wicks, your Chief Encouragement Officer, coming to you with the first installment, and I'm so excited. <laughs> this series is going to be on 100 Days to a Better You. This is day one, and the title of today's message is Dosage, D-O-S-A-G-E. So, as you know, I'm an entrepreneur, and one of the things that I do is I help people let me switch that up. I actually build businesses for people and I give those businesses back to them once they're built so that they can receive passive income from the business. And one of the things that I think is so important is balance in life. I believe that someone that is emotionally and spiritually healthy, uh, being in a position where they're financially struggling is is not a good balance but on the other hand to have lots of money and i've met many people like this that have wealth that have great income but emotionally and spiritually the balance is just not there and so inevitably they wind up doing themselves and others damage and so what I want to do is just speak on a very broad base, on a very basic level regarding dealing with relationships and dealing with people. And I think that whether you consider yourself to be a very nice person or you consider yourself to be a person that is just not maybe perceived as being that nice, I think we can all take away some value from this, this message. Now, when I talk about dosage, what I'm talking about is the frequency with which you engage people. Now, I believe that relationships are important, and I believe that it is important to assess the season that you're in in every relationship. Here's what I mean. You may have a relationship. Let's say it's a friend. It's a friend you've known for a long time. But you notice that every conversation that you have with this person, it leaves you drained or you're feeling angry or this person's upset about something. And when you're done with the conversation, you're upset about that same thing. Well, what I would like to suggest to you is not yelling at the person, not cutting them off, but changing the dosage with which you engage that person, meaning you may talk to this person maybe on a daily basis. If so, you may want to shift that to once every three days. Or if you're speaking to them a couple of times a week, you may want to move them to once a week. And as you start to monitor your levels after you talk with them, if they start to improve, then that's a wonderful thing. But you may need to take it a step further if you're still sensing that negative energy when you come out of an exchange with them. And you may have to move them to twice a month or possibly once a month. Now, you may ask yourself, okay, Antonio, that sounds great, but how do I do this? Well, you may see the incoming call and you may have to let it go to voicemail, okay? you may have to respond with a text message and communicate with them via text. But what you wanna do is to make it a priority of preserving your peace. Because at the end of the day, what you have to do is to protect your inner environment because your inner environment is what shapes and influences what manifests in your external environment in every area. So just remember, if you have a relationship where it's just kind of prickly and kind of high maintenance and kind of draining and just you don't really know what to do with it in that season, all you may need to do is just adjust the dosage. Hopefully this is some value in this message for you. Do me a favor. I'd like you to consider subscribing to the channel and also consider clicking the bell because that's going to notify you when the next installment is up on day two. And on the second installment, what we're going to be talking about is methods by which you can communicate with people also to minimize 
opportunities for negative energy. So today, day one was dosage. Day two is going to be methods of communication. Now, in addition to subscribing and clicking the bell, I'd like you to give this video a like if you got some value in it. And last but not least, if you feel compelled to do so, leave a comment, good, bad, or otherwise. And because what that's going to do is that's going to help us to improve the content that we're delivering to you on a daily basis. Now, in closing, if you know someone maybe that has questions about investing, maybe they left their job, they've got an old 401k, they want to put better use to it, maybe have it personally managed or put it into a portfolio where they could get a better rate of return, just have them reach out to me, 210 328-9048. Or they may be looking to possibly generate some extra income from home. They can reach out to me as well. Or maybe you just need to talk. Hit me up. Call me. Text me. We can begin to move towards the next version of a better you. Okay. Thanks for your time. God bless. And we'll see you on day number two. This is Antonio C. Wicks, your Chief Encouragement Officer. God bless. We'll see you soon.